video is sponsored by Serverless 360. More about them at the end. The Azure Academy has bought another company, so now we need to merge all of our users together into a single Azure Active Directory tenant. And if you've ever gone through a merger using Azure AD Connect, you know to buckle up because this is gonna be a rough ride. But the future of syncing starts today with Azure AD Cloud Sync. So check it out. I have two disconnected Active Directory forests syncing into a single Azure AD tenant. And there's not even any trusts involved, which means mergers and acquisitions are not hard at all. So let me show you how easy this is. And everything gets managed right here in Azure Active Directory. Go and select on the left there, the Azure AD Connect. Now click this link to manage your Azure AD Cloud Sync and then click to download the agents from the top. Accept the terms and once the download's complete, you can run this on any Windows Server 2016 or newer that is a member of your domain, but it is recommended that you treat these Cloud Sync servers like any other tier zero asset, just like your domain controllers. Azure AD Cloud Sync is a lightweight agent that's fast to deploy, highly available, fault tolerant, and syncs every two minutes. These will be communicating on port 443, but also will use port 80 to get certificates and also port 8080 to do other health check-ins. So if you lock down your networks, you may need to open those ports outbound for all this to work. Now, when you run the installer, just click next, and you should get a credential window pop up here automatically. If not, just click the authenticate button. Once you've entered your Azure AD Global Admin creds and they've been accepted, you'll next have to choose to create or select an existing service account to run your cloud sync. So I'll just let the wizard create a new one for me and then provide your domain admin creds in the SAM account format, which is domain slash username. Then put in your password and click next. Now, if you have a multiple domains in your forest, select the right one that you want from the dropdown, click next. And then we had the summary screen. It was really that simple. We're configuring the MS Azure Academy domain. We're using a new service account called the Prov Agent GMSA, and I'm using a global admin user. When you're ready, click confirm, and this will register the agent with your Azure Active Directory tenant. But let me give you a, a pro tip here. Now I tried setting this up on several different servers with no problems, but there was one server where this step just kept on failing. When that happened, I opened the services console and then I found that there was a service called the Microsoft Azure AD Connect Provisioning Agent. Now that got here because it's just part of the Cloud Sync setup, but mine wasn't actually running. So I just started the service, tried again, and it worked fine. And if that tip helped you out, please click the like button and let me know. Now with the agents deployed, we can go back to Azure Active Directory and then we need to click to create a new configuration. And this takes the place of the Azure AD sync rules that we had before. Now you select the domain that you wanna sync with and be aware that the only domains that'll be listed here are the ones where your agents have been deployed. And as of this recording, you can only have one configuration per domain. Notice also that the password hash sync is enabled right there by default. So click the create button at the bottom to generate your new configuration. And now we just walk through the wizard, starting with scoping. Here you can choose to sync all of your users or specific security groups or specific OUs. Now in Azure AD Connect, I generally recommended against syncing everything because there's many users and groups that really don't have anything to do with the cloud. And here I would give that same general advice. So I'll sync a specific OU that I have called Azure AD, which will not only sync that, but all of the sub OUs under it. So you just add the distinguished name of that OU right there, click add, and then click done at the bottom. Next, you can manage all of the attributes for your users, groups, and contacts. Now there is a lot of things to choose from here, but since Cloud Sync is brand new, there is not support for your own custom attributes yet. But stick with me here because there is a way to make it all happen, and I'll tell you about that in just a minute. In the next section, you can provision a user as a test that Cloud Sync is working properly. Click the provision user button. And to do this, you'll need a user that's in your active directory that isn't syncing yet. 
Just enter that user's distinguished name and then click the provision button at the bottom. If all goes well, you will see the provisioning details screen. And over here, you can see that we've got the user Oreo from my cookieco.net domain. And if we look over at Azure AD users, we can see Oreo is now syncing just like any other user through Azure AD Connect. Back in the Cloud Sync configuration, you can also add an email address for notifications, as well as set your accidental delete threshold. And then at the bottom, you have the option to enable this configuration now, but if you want to wait, you can do that too. Either way, when you're ready, click Save at the top. Then click Yes, and things will start syncing right now. And there you go, Cloud Sync is running for your domain. And all of your agents and configurations are all reporting healthy. Now you can click the three dots right over here to view your agents. And you see I've got one agent across two different active directories. Now you can also deploy multiple agents in each domain, which will give you high availability, as well as fault tolerance, unlike Connect, which only had active and staging mode. But it's not all rainbows and unicorns. There are six specific limitations that Azure AD Connect has that Cloud Sync doesn't yet. Now, the first limitation I've already mentioned that you can't create your own custom attributes yet. You can edit the existing ones and customize them, just not your own brand new ones. The second limitation is for those of you who use Azure Virtual Desktop with Azure AD Join. As of today, Cloud Sync supports users only. So no support for your devices yet. So if you're doing hybrid and modern device management, you will need to use Azure AD Connect, but you can do that along with Cloud Sync. More about that in a second. Group member limitations in Cloud Sync can handle up to 50,000 members, but Azure AD Connect V2 can do 250,000 members. The fourth one is that create and update operations aren't clearly defined in the logs yet. Number five is that there is a limit of 59 OUs in a configuration, but you can have 130 nested OUs within there. And number six is that other solutions that Azure AD Connect provided, like password and device writeback, single sign-on, and federation are not supported at this time either. Now, even with those six major limitations, I would still encourage you to start using Cloud Sync today. And here's why. You don't have to give up anything. Azure AD Connect and Cloud Sync are supported running in the same domain on the same server at the same time. The only thing you need to keep in mind is the scope. The two tools can't overlap. So in our example, we configured the Azure AD OU for Cloud Sync. You'd need to exclude that OU and anything under it from your Azure AD Connect Sync. So why even bother, right? Why should you use both tools? Why not just stick with Azure AD Connect? Well, there's two reasons for that. Cloud Sync is like 10 times faster than Azure AD Connect. For example, password changes. With Connect, it'll take a minimum of 30 minutes to get that sync propagated into the cloud, or your admin's gonna have to manually force a Delta Sync. However, with Cloud Sync, that update will happen every two minutes. So you get much faster performance. The second reason is that this is the tool of the future. It's not only 100% cloud-based, but eventually it'll be able to do everything Azure AD Connect can do. So it's good to start learning about the new things right now. But you also have a chance here to help shape this new tool to suit your own needs. So comment below and give me your thoughts so I know what you're interested in and why, and then I can go back to the product team and help make things better for you. Now, speaking of making things better, if you run apps in the cloud at all, you're gonna love our sponsor. The cloud can be a complex place, but Serverless 360 is trusted by many of the world's leading organizations to remove application blind spots and resolve your problems rapidly. You can instantly visualize, monitor, and fix any issues in your cloud apps, and then achieve end-to-end -end tracking of your business process flows, and Serverless 360 will save you time by auto-generating your documentation, turning your Azure subscription data into actionable insights for usage, security, and cost. Try Serverless 360 free for 15 days, or you can book a demo using the links in the resource section under the video. So the sync tool of the future is here today, and you should start using it right now. And if you want to master the rest of Azure Active Directory, click right over here. Happy learning.